Jose has been a wonderful host and yes. a good friend. Thank yeah. you. And <laughs> the tastiest breakfast during this trip. He's a, he's a pro chef. Yeah. Well, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Safe trip, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Спасибо. Очень приятно. Спасибо. Okay. Спасибо. Welcome to Russia. Thank you. Next time you're in Russia, you know who to call. We are at Cracker Barrel restaurant. Uh, waiting for a turn. He said it's going to be 10 to 15 minutes. We are at Cracker Barrel, and I ordered a catfish, a grilled catfish. This is what it looks like. They're not using a lot of the tables, so most of the tables are not in use. So we had to wait to be seated. <laughs> you don't mind if I film you, do you? No, I don't want to. Make so, wake up, Slava. All right, time to get up. Well, guys, we have come to Blacksburg, Virginia to visit my old friend George. And I've known George for 17 years now. At one point, he was hosting me back when I was in Tennessee. And I stayed with him before I went back to Russia for one month. And so he taught me a lot of things about how, <clears throat> how this world works and operates. So, and I decided to pay him a visit. It's been 17 years. Oh my God, what a reunion, right? And he lives in this beautiful property and that overlooks the river. And you can see everything, you know, it's just a, a perfect kind of place. Now, George is a little bit shy. He said he doesn't want to be in, in the picture, which, okay, I can, I can respect that. But for now, we're going to be cooking some nice dinner. I bought this property about three years ago. I own the property next door, which is a cliff called Lover's Leap. There's 22 acres over there. And then this house came available, so I bought it. So one time a bear was trying to climb this balcony. And actually I have proof of that. George sent me his video. It's a bit chilly today to be honest, but no matter the weather, Americans drink everything with ice, you know. To keep ourselves warm, we start a little fire. Ah, uh, just like in Russia. <laughs> I just all, only wanted to mention this. How do you go first? Well, working on this barbecue. Turning them, flipping them like this. Hey George, is that okay? Is that, there's so much fire. Close the gate, it'll go, it'll be gone. Oh, right. No more oxygen. And our chef is Lana. Yeah. Lana, what are you serving? Uh, this is ribs two different types this is a real spicy okay and this is like a normal uh, normal spicy <laughs> okay i love spicy so give me the spicy one yeah you have already so george is taking us to mountain lake hotel what's the name of this mountain george you tell me that big butt mountain big butt mountain that's a good joke not a joke big butt mountain mm -hmm. and, right. there, and there are they made a movie like a Dirty Dancing, right? Dirty Dance. Dirty Dancing. With Patrick Swayze. Okay. Well, we are in a Mountain Lake Hotel and this is the set for Dirty Dancing movie. All the scenes were shot here and they wanted to present it as though it was filmed in a mountain outside of New York City. So they cut some costs right there. The movie wasn't shot here totally in the hotel, but it was all up and down the mountains. There's houses over there. Okay. The manager just died and he never would let me pay for anything here. <laughs> Do this area reminds, uh, reminds you uh, Krasna Poliana? Yeah, some areas outside of Sochi in the mountains are very similar to this area. So there's a viewing spot, there's a viewing deck. We'll stop by and we'll take it's some pictures. Up, yeah. George has taken us to all these different picturesque spots in Virginia. It's around Blacksburg, tons of beautiful places. And uh, I was flying my drone here, absolutely gorgeous, you know. The warm weather is coming later than expected, so, but it's still kind of, it films, it films like fresh, you know, it doesn't film too hot, but it films, it feels fresh.
guys played this game, Red Dead Redemption, which I did, you know, you remember the, if you have a covered bridge, you know, at the end of the bridge, you can get robbed by some bandits. And so, let's walk to the end of the bridge and see if we get robbed. I'm packing no guns, so it'll be fist fighting. Nobody here, we're all good. Walker Valley Market. <laughs> this is maple syrup, right? Right. Okay. We went to this Amish grocery store called Walker Valley Market to have some fabulous sandwiches. They were indeed very delicious. Everything you see in this store is made by the Amish. Now all this furniture is manufactured by the Amish. They are pretty good at that. Very impressive. Incredible. Wow, oh, Lana, you want a bed like this? Yes. This is awesome. It's like fairy tale uh, Masha and Medvedev. Right, it's like three bears and Masha. Yeah. Jump on the bed. Stand the you like. Like this one is the roast beef and then okay. the ham and bacon. Down okay. here we also have like regular turkey, Cajun turkey, pulled pork, salami. Okay. So it depends what kind of meat. Let's you do like. Walker Valley Supreme. Oh, sandwich! The best sandwiches. <laughs> Let him watch the step. Okay. Now that's a big sandwich. Let me show you the inside. Oh, isn't that yummy, yummy? Mmm. So juicy. Then George took us to an Orthodox oh, Jewish so family. Good. They live a very simple so lifestyle, cool. just like the Amish. What's your name? Gabriela. What's your name? Yadidia. Nice to meet you, Yadidia. Aviella. Yapa. Kazaya. Kazaya. Nice to meet you, Kazaya. Yeah. My name is Slava. My name Her is name Lena. is Lena. Lena. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're from Russia. What's uh, his name? Chuckle. Chuckle. It's, it's Chuckle or Giggle. <laughs> Chuckle or Giggle. Because <laughs> it's got a twin, so we mix up their names. And they, oh. have, they have pants on these chickens. So when I was a little child, visited the east of Germany when it was still uh, when the wall when it yeah. was communism. Yeah, familiar. So my my cousins they needed to learn Russia in in school, so okay. they always spoke a little bit Russian. Здравствуйте. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Я люблю тебя. I love you. Yeah. What's your favorite animal? Um, I've got a ton like Pomeranians is a dog beating cats. Squirrels. <laughs> squirrels? You got squirrels here? There, um, our neighbor up there had a squirrel named Jeffy. Jeffrey. It, it ran away though. <laughs> okay. What's the cat's That's name? Magdalene. Magdalene? Yeah. Um, that was a baby of one of the cats that we have. She's, She's an unknown family. breed. Yeah. Yeah. Unknown breed? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love cats. Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna show us the animals? Yep. He's <laughs> carrying him like, like a pet. <laughs> okay, what's the name? Uh, Britannia. Britannia, okay. Nice. <laughs> so, I'm a farmer now. Yep. If you didn't know this. Awazi Frisian milk sheep. <laughs> milk sheep. I'm gonna squeeze him and get some milk. Well, you girl, girls are strong, carrying them around. Wow. You want to yeah. take a picture with me? Yeah, of course. Can you do it both at the same time? Yeah. Look at the girls, never seen it before. Well, we, we need to film them too, get their reaction. <laughs> you could take a picture of them. He's taking a picture of you right now. Hey! Gabriella, what do you say? <laughs> Sounds like a bug. Gabriella! <laughs> You do homeschooling, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Pretty good. You learn, uh, you teach them how to read and the basics of uh, arithmetic, and then they teach mm -hmm. themselves. With oh. the curriculum. 
Okay. You have yeah. different curriculums, and then you they they learn. Self study. They, yeah. Self study. It's better because then they are responsible for their for their uh, yeah. education. Right. And they check themselves, and it makes them pretty honest too. And you can get a full day's worth of schooling in by the time the regular kids go to school and back on the bus. Right. And I mean, just the time that they're on the bus, you can have most That's of your true. schoolwork done. I, I know it's not very efficient because there's, then there's, they got breaks and yeah. everything. And Walking just from one class to the next. That's true. Yeah. Plus, uh, they learn a lot better from their parents than they would a teacher. <laughs> okay. This She's is very interested in mechanics. She likes right. to take apart things like computers yeah. and clocks. And She'll be an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> She likes oh, one. Mr. Brown. He looked like a kangaroo when he was It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show, show me the guineas. Show me the something. That's mama. Magdalene. That's mama. Magdalene is the baby of this cat. He's a nice cat. That's a cute cat. <laughs> She's old. Oh this you got one. so many animals. Oh this, one, so lucky. this one looks like a wild one. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so cute. Oh, my They're always favorite. hungry. This one's my favorite. Really? It's, it sort of looks like a dog because he's, he's got, got the blue, blue eyes. eyes. And it's got the white stuff, so it sort of look, reminds me of a he's dog. He's got the half eye. Okay. Like a dog bunny. Dog, dog bunny. <laughs> hey, this one's actually got a twin. Food. Where's Joe? Where's the little scooty cat? Oh, I'm like a baby. How you doing, Guineas? This one's a baby, baby guinea. Tiny. <laughs> this oh. one's the tiniest. Key. Hoot. <laughs> Yellow one. Those bunnies like those. What's out there? Um, mama hen. Mama hen, okay. We got two mama hens. Bad. That's how you start your day. Have some coffee. Bye. We're staying at George's son's house. So we're going to George's house now. I'm going to say goodbye. And we're going to hit the road. There's been a gas shortage all throughout the eastern part of the U.S. Luckily, I got my tank full. I was stopping at every gas station to make sure my tank is full because it's going to be quite a drive today. We're going to Dalton, Georgia to my friend Rick. It's going to be uh, five and a half hours of driving. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, I don't want to. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, Letta. <laughs> yeah, after yesterday uh, laying on the grass, we have like a burn face. Yeah. We're northern people, not used to the strong sun of Virginia. Okay guys, let me show you a really cool spot. It's called the Lover's Leap. And you know, it's a rock on a cliff. And there's a river down below. Heartbroken Indians used to come here and commit suicide. A jumping of that cliff just like that. Don't do it! Now George, he organized this as a public space for people to come here, make some barbecue, all of that. Now this chimney, uh, you see some people are shooting at it, you know. There's got a hole in here, there's five holes in the back. One, two, three, oh, more than five. Wow. And some people stole his propane tanks. Can you believe that? So they stole it off them instead of like having a nice spot to cook some barbecue, some burgers. Some people are not very appreciative of other people's good intentions. But we're having a wonderful time. We're not the kind of people to destroy property. You know, you can trust us. This river down there, do you know what it's called? No. It's called the New River. You know, I was just thinking, you know, people were exploring these new lands and they saw a river and they're like, what's that river? And it's like, it's a new river. And that's how this name was. That's how I invented the name. Beautiful Virginia, beautiful landscape. I'm enjoying.
Mmm, crab legs. Mm. We're about to eat some Alaskan crop, crab. Looks good, doesn't smell too good. Hey, Lana, have you had Alaskan crab before? No. You should try some. Oh, of course. I'm about to try it. Well, we are, guess where we are? We are in Tennessee, right? That state that I spend a lot of time in. It's Tennessee, and we just left Virginia. We're on our way, we're going through Tennessee, but we're gonna end up today in Georgia. Dalton, Georgia, we're gonna see my friend Rick. It's gonna be some good time. The gas shortage is still here, even though they fixed the pipeline, the software, uh, there's still like shortages with gas. We stopped at one of the gas stations. There was no gas, and, and, and you know, at one of the ex two stations had no gas. I can see the changes of landscape. Do you? Eh, more or less similar. I guess this one's less hilly. It's more flat. But then we're going to Smoky Mountain, so it's going to be mountainous again. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm in Florida right now, so I'm really behind with posting these videos. And to end this video, let's enjoy some nature, alright? See you in the next one.